back today. Let's make some special cookies or some crafts from cookie molds this year. The German American Heritage Center can help you with lessons on all of this, which we're going to learn about when we come back today on Paula Sands Live. There's nothing like a good German bakery. You can learn German cookie techniques and crafts as well at classes this Saturday and Sunday at the German American Heritage Center. Connie Meisinger is here with the, the cookies or the crafting or the workshops going on. Connie, it's great to have you here today. Oh, it's great to be here. So it's history and it's fun and it's, it's culture and delicious and delicious all of that all of that explain this technique that you're about to show us here Connie. well I am using replicas of antique cookie molds and I'm going to be making a paper casting with 100% cotton linters okay uh, so it's an additional way to use this uh, this item that is usually made to mold cookies. Let's hold up a couple of these, okay, sure. so we can show them. Now, these are, well, these are replicas, but they're they're from very old designs. Very old. Some of them are hundreds of years old, and we do have a couple new ones, mm -hmm. but uh, some they're from the Bavarian Alps area, mm -hmm. mostly in southern Germany, into Switzerland, and, and into Austria. So we put, so cookie dough would be put into these. That's right. Yes. Okay, yes. and in fact, that's what you have over here. I do. Yes? I do. These are called spring Springala cookies. Uh, Springala. <laughs> they're a traditional anise mm -hmm. flavored, uh, dense cake like cookie from southern Germany. Mm -hmm. That's for Dunkin'. That's you for Dunkin'. You dunk that <laughs> in your coffee and you've got something. That's right. right. So, Connie, That's show right. me, in, in the blender over here, you were just mixing up this, uh, the, the cotton. Uh, this is really a pulp. It's paper pulp, really. Mm -hmm. It's made from 100% cotton linters. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to quick. Give it a quick blip. Yeah, and it, it's not a smoothie or a it, margarita. No, no, you don't want to drink this. Okay. Um, so we're going to what we're going to do is press this pulp into the mold All to right. create this casting. Okay. And you need lots of water in your blender, and I'm I'm using my very old blender. It's kind of dedicated to this purpose. Okay. How long have you been doing this? You uh, started this when you were a kid? I started having Springer cookies when I was a child. Springer. My grandmother made them. Yes. I love how you say the Springer. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. So this is part of the class that will be people will learn how to do this. Right, right. So what I'm going to do is once I've uh, blended this into a, a pulp, mm -hmm. I'm going to dr strain it so that I can extract some of the water. I and don't think, Connie, while you do that, yes. you keep doing that. Okay. I, just, I do want to show these so we know where we're going with this. Yeah. We are making, this is how, maybe you've seen this on greeting cards. This is this taking, aren't those beautiful? See, though, that's how this ends up looking. So that's what we're making here. And then that is called, that part's called what, Connie? The paper casting. That's just the paper casting that's right. and how that looks after. Okay. So I'm going to take this pulp and it's going to be kind of in a pancake and I'm going to extract some of the excess water. And I, I've kind of got an amount that I think is going to fit on the mold that I want to use. And so you cover the entire mold. You do, mm -hmm. and because you're going to extract a lot of water, you'll be surprised. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to get as much water out of it. See all the water that comes out. Well, it's amazing how it turns into this little oh, flat yeah. pancake, right? We've got a little work to go. I mean, look, that's just a little. So this is something that is continued um, from this ancient kind of technique or craft? Well, I think it's a modern ad adaptation, mm -hmm. uh, just an additional use. Mm -hmm. But certainly, it was very common in Germany for people to decorate their trees with these cookies. Mm. And so I think this is a natural oh, uh, they used to really They used to actually hang the cookies. Absolutely. Sure. Yes, they take a, something and poke a hole in the I cookie. Think it's like they've been hung on a few trees. Right here. Yes. Well, yeah. they're a hard, dry, they're, hard cookie. Yes. That's they're, why you need the co coffee for dunking, <laughs> right? Absolutely. My grandmother called them Dunkin' cookies. Mm -hmm. I'm I mean, a German girl, too, so <laughs> I know. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so I'm extracting as much water as I can from this. Mm -hmm. I kind of deckled the edges by pulling away some of the excess. Well, I see how that pulp. looks, and this is actually very lovely yes. how that looks. It's not supposed to be precise. You wouldn't cut this no, with scissors. No, I think that would take away some of the charm. I agree. Yes, yeah. and, and so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm pressing that paper pulp as deeply into the carving as I can mm -hmm. so they get a nice crisp result. Well, Connie, we are showing everyone uh, all about these workshops coming up Saturday and Sunday. And, Great. and they're the, the same workshops. So at 1230 on Saturday, 1230 on Sunday, you get the paper casting, what we, we just showed folks. And then at 230, you get the cookie making each day. 
Right. Correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, and how much is it at the German American Heritage Center? You you want to know something? I don't know how much they're charging. <laughs> well, you know what? It could be free. It's not know. free. It's, it's not it's free. Not. Okay, it's not free. <laughs> don't listen to me. It's affordable. That's the other word we like besides free. It, it affordable. is. Affordable. Yes. Or reasonable, as my dad mm -hmm. used to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Connie, thank you so much. It was great having you here today. And okay. thank you for the little history lesson. And look what, you already sort of made one. I did. You Well, not sort of, you did. I did. Look at that. See? So it shows it could be done in three minutes. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Connie. That was great. Nice Thanks to see for you having here today. Me. So when we come back.